A government's ambitious plan to issue all South Africans with uh, so-called smart card ID documents is going to take a little longer than anticipated. The Home Affairs Minister Naledi Pandor says once the process is underway, it could print close to uh, 3 million ID cards a year. Uh, the Minister was in Parliament earlier today presenting her department's budget vote. Let's go live to Cape Town. And uh, Minister Naledi Pandor, good evening to you and welcome. Now, I think a year ago, government said it would take four years to issue the uh, smart card IDs. That's doubled. Why is this the case? Well, I think um, I, I can only answer for myself and the plans that I'm working on with the department. And uh, having looked at everything uh, that has been put in place, uh, the budget available and uh, the uh, ability to execute, I think we'd begin uh, from July uh, on a phased basis to issue uh, the ID uh, smart card and we then uh, believe we can cover the entire population in a period of seven to eight years. I'm uh, uh, happy that uh, we've done the initial uh, procurement of the required machinery and the uh, uh, polycarbonate card uh, uh, for uh, the smart card on which the information will be printed. We have 27 officers uh, uh, throughout the country that have been fitted with the live capture equipment to allow them uh, uh, to take the biometric uh, 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 features of each of the applicants mm -hmm. and to allow us through the government printing works to then print and issue uh, the cards. As I said... So that's uh, where we are. That's what I've been working on. Uh, uh, with the department, and that's what I've uh, been able to report. As, as I said in my introduction, Minister, it is an ambitious plan, yet in the past this uh, process hasn't it been fraught with uh, bungling and, uh, and corruption. What makes you think that you've cracked the code this time round? Well, what I've done is work uh, uh, with the department uh, uh, very, very closely uh, with colleagues in the revenue service who have experience in introducing uh, modern technology and who are partnering with us. And I've tried to look at the step-by-step -step implementation. So we've looked at what do we need to do to arrive at the point in eight years where everyone has a smart card uh, uh, ID. And we agreed we will begin in a phased manner. We will set up these offices. We agreed three uh, uh, per province, 27 in the initial phase. And then next year we'll begin to get larger numbers of officers equipped with the live capture equipment. So I've tried to uh, be fairly methodical with the support of the department uh, to ensure that we can implement this plan. Because uh, I think uh, I realized early on, and the department did uh, uh, brief me uh, fairly uh, uh, substantively, uh, that this kind of project, which is a major <laughs> undertaking for South Africa, requires method, requires planning, requires precision. Mr. Pando, let's turn our attention, if we can, to another issue. I was wondering whether the Auditor General or any of the other investigators have interviewed you or your department members about the role in the Gupta wedding arrival. We are expecting some sort of report, aren't we, within the next week? No, I've not been interviewed by anybody. Um, and yes, uh, government had indicated in the media statement uh, uh, that we issued that uh, we expect a report from the team of directors general uh, within seven days, but that's not part of my budget speech. Mm. I also want to ask you though, and this is an issue obviously which uh, the entire nation is interested in, I'm sure that you've been asking some questions of your own officials. Have you personally established why civilians were allowed to disembark at a military airbase? I'm uh, not at liberty to uh, venture into discussion on this matter as I've indicated. There's an investigation underway. Once uh, we're able to make further statements, I'm sure government will do so. Are you confident that Home Affair Affairs officials were above board in this, or did they err in any way in the scandal, Minister? As far as uh, I'm aware, Home Affairs officials did what Home Affairs officials should do. Uh, they recorded uh, foreign nationals entering our country onto the movement control system. They ensured that every person entering had a valid passport, uh, that uh, persons had uh, visas issued by our High Commission, our representative in uh, India, and ensured that uh, we had recorded the full details of the individuals entering and assisted them in departing the country. Well, I'm sure we all look forward to that report live in Cape Town for Newsnight. That's the Home Affairs Minister, Naledi Pandor. News.
expert moves. ENCA.com.